Hey guys, how's it going? Andy here, back with another video. Now, I did make a video about this already, but so many people ask me every time I live stream on YouTube, hey, what are you using to emulate your games? And I'm going to show you. So, most of you guys know I am a Mac user, and there's really not too many emulators you can use. So, I, I was just Googling, and I found this. It's called OpenEMU, and it, it works amazing, and it's free. So, this right here that you're seeing right now is the latest version, which you need 10.11 or above to run, which I currently do not have on this Mac. I am think I'm still at Yosemite or something. So, yeah, uh, I'm a little bit behind, but I have this one on my laptop for school. So, you know, just mess around. But this one does Atari 2600 to SG-1000 to Sega CD, whole bunch of different ones, N64, which N64 can be hit or miss, not every single game works. Like I tried GoldenEye, didn't run whatsoever. But games like Mischief Makers runs perfectly fine. So it really depends on the type of game. Now, if you're like me and you do need an older version, I believe if you go to GitHub, you can actually get an older version. So if you go to Open EMU, I believe you might be able to find an older version. You might have to Google for it or something. I'm not 100% sure. So, yeah, like I said, it's very simple, very, very clean. Here are some screenshots from the website. Like I said, very, very easy to use. So, let's take a look. This is, like I said, the version I have. It's older version. I believe it's, yeah, it's version 1.0.4, which is pretty, pretty damn old. So, yeah, uh, <laughs> I have Atari 2600, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, uh, NES, Super Nintendo, yada, 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 all those in between. Now, I mainly use it for a Game Boy, NES, and Super Nintendo. So, okay, so I'm going to show you how to import ROMs. It's very simple. Now, depending on where you get ROMs, depends on if you're going to have box art or not. So, let's see, I have Pokemon Leaf Green for Game Boy Advance. I'm going to do is drag and drop. And boom. As you see, it doesn't have box art, but it loaded. And to get box art, if it doesn't have it, it's a very, very simple. All you got to do is, let's see, Pokemon Leaf Green box art. And then images. Uh, let's just use this one. You just drag, drop. Oops, <laughs> drag, drop, make sure you drag it onto the game, and you are all set. So now it has box art. Then, same thing goes for NES. Let's see, what NES games do I have over here? Uh, Adventure Island. Just drag and drop. Yeah, this one, yeah, it doesn't have any box art. But, as you can see, it loaded just fine. I have a TurboGrafx-16 game, which is Ballistics. Just gonna import it, and then of course I I got the ROMs from the same place, so I'm not surprised they don't all, they don't all not have box art. If that makes sense. <laughs> but the only issue with Turbo Graphics 16, which I'll click on Darkwing Duck, doesn't seem to work. Now I'm not too sure. Maybe it's the version I'm using. Maybe it's missing core. I'm not sure. But if you if you know what to do to fix this, please let me know down in the comments below. I'd really like to know. But let me show you Sega Genesis. Uh, I have Turtles in Time right here. I'm just going to delete that real quick. This way I can show you. The file does look a little bit different. If it says .bin, you're fine. Just drag and drop it. It'll still load. Boom. Hyperstone Heist. Right there. And then, what's the other game? Oh, it's Super Nintendo. Let's see. I have Adventures of Batman and Robin. Just going to drag and drop. Boom. And then just to show you guys that they work. Just going to double click it. Boom. Bada bing, bada boom. It looks great. I will say Konami killed, killed games for Super Nintendo. I'm just going to pause this real quick. Now if you want to save, there's this little button right here that looks kind of like a floppy drive. You just click that, save current game. You can also load current games from that, or load previously saved games from that. And then you can hit back. Do you want to reset the console? 
just hit restart. I want to restart it. And then it, to change the filters, you just click this. Whoops. You just click this little gear icon and you can go to filters. And there's several ones like there's CRT, which I'll show you what that looks like. It just makes it look like you're looking at CRT TV, which is pretty cool. There's Beam 4, which I do not like. I normally just stick with uh, Pixelate because it just makes it look really well. Now let's say you're playing and you don't want to finish. Just hit that little power button and I'll just turn it off. But if you want to go back to the game and you didn't save, when you double click, I'll say, would you like to continue the last game? If you click no, it will delete all your, all your previous progress that you didn't save. So just hit yes, and boom, I'm right back to it. Now if you hit no, but you saved, you just go down and you just hit load. So turn that off. Like I said, everything works great. The only thing I have an issue with is TurboGrafx-16. Everything else works beautiful. Even Game Boy Advance, that works great. Game Boy works perfect. There's very, very little. I haven't tried Sega 32X yet. But I do plan on it. So yeah, that's really about it. That's Open EMU. So if you guys enjoy this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions at all, leave them down in the comments below. Subscribe and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.